Welcome into another Steve Henry show. Oh, we just lost the camera. Oh, well, that's okay. Happy 4th of July, everybody. It is a three-day weekend. I hope everyone's having a great time. We are smoking. This is a desk. This is a portable office. We are literally smoking. You see the smoke? Billowing clouds, as I promised you, Nicole. Billowing clouds of secondhand smoke. That is what we use in order to uh, prepare our item today. And our item is, of course, we chose brisket yes for those of you that chose ribs i'm with you on the rib thing man really am and venison and i saw all kinds of neat stuff congratulations everybody uh as again this is your channel your show you can do whatever you want uh ribs was a close second but we're gonna do brisket today uh this is a food show if you're new to the show uh, it's a giving show we give a lot of stuff away uh if you're early and you comment on the wednesday thing we're gonna spin and give you some money there we're gonna spin the rooster is cooperating today we had a long talk jb is in the hallway J JB actually even uh, had a lot to do with the rooster loosening up a little feathers today. JB is a little tired. He put in a long day uh, negotiating with this rooster, but we're gonna do a spin on the jackpot and hopefully get some uh, revenue flowing that way for you. And also, uh, if you did choose uh, brisket, and a lot of you did, you're in a separate spin also for some money. So we're just gonna be doing some giving away. But first, a little education on this thing called brisket. Brisket is an interesting piece of meat. It's like the pearl of the oyster. You know to get to it and then once you get to it it's like wow but getting to it and properly getting to it the pathway there is is the tough part now brisket obviously is the pectorials of the bovine animal now that uh, bovine animal uh, typically is a right-sided animal what do you mean by that well you know we write with our right hand or left hand they get up from the ground with their right side, 80% of them. Did you know that? Probably didn't. Which means what? Well, it means that the brisket on the right side is tougher than the one on the left side. So can you imagine going to your butcher, Sam the butcher, by the way, for a hundred bucks, the first person who can tell me what sitcom did Sam the butcher play in? That's a hundred bucks to you. That's, you gotta go back into the 70s to archive that one, but Sam the butcher. So you go to Sam the butcher and say, Sam, I need the left side of the brisket. He's going to look at you and say, what are you talking about? That makes absolutely no sense. Well, it does. The scientific aspect of the brisket, and that's what we're going to learn here today, has a lot to do with how it ends up uh, unfolding and being onto your sandwich and being the best brisket you ever tasted in your life. We smoke the brisket and we also oven roast the brisket. Now we do best of both because uh, a lot of people say, just do one. We're gonna smoke it and leave it in the smoker for 200 degrees and do that for 10 hours. Um, a little dry, can be. And there's something called a, uh, a process that is a stall. You don't wanna stall your meat. What is that? Well, that's when we, we sweat. And if the brisket becomes too hot too fast, like we do out in the sun, we start sweating. Well, the brisket does the same thing. What happens to all that juice? Yeah, it ends up uh, in a container like this. You don't want that to happen. You want it to stay with your meat. So all this stuff, the stall, the left side of the brisket, the smoking and the oven roasting, all will evolve into what I believe will be the perfect brisket. Now, if you're doing this in two days, uh, hopefully you got some money last week. Maybe you're gonna do a great barbecue. Uh, but nonetheless, if you're gonna do brisket, this is how you'd wanna do it. You're gonna start off with the brisket. This is the whole brisket. It's about 50 bucks. Yeah, these days it's a lot of money. It used to be about 35 here about a week ago. Uh, but that's why we're here. We're here to help that. Again, the spin and the gives. By the way, the spin right now. This is for you. For all of you who showed up Wednesday, made a comment. That's all you gotta do. What happens, you get your name put in the spinner once. Make a comment on Wednesday. You get the email blast. We ask a question, uh, whatever. You could put anything in the comment you want. By doing so, it gets you into the spinner once. Now, you, how do you get in there twice? Well, you get into the early bird room or the, what we call the, the waiting room. You elbow and hobnob with some of the finest people in the world, which is our people. You, people, you! That's right. So two, our X2 is in this spinner right now. And I'm going to spin. We're going to give away some $100 bills with this spin here. Hopefully, it's going to be you. Uh, if anybody needs some extra money uh, this is the place to be this is the new steve henry show and that's all you got to do is go to the new steve henry show.com make sure you register because the only way you're going to get a check from all this 
and be a part of the show. And eventually you're going to be all board of directors, really, uh, dividend recipients, if you will, for all the money that YouTube is going to pay us one day. How are they going to do that? Well, all these videos, it's a numbers game, loved ones. It's a numbers game. And uh, so far, yeah, our numbers are, are kind of crawling up. We started from scratch. But uh, the more people we have engaged, the more people watching videos, the more people watching commercials, it's all going to snowball. And someday I'm going to sit here or stand here and I'm going to blow the roof off this building and say, wow, we made it. We made our first you know, profit. When that happens, man, it's all going back to you. This is a show about you and the dividends. Nonetheless, follow me. Here we go. This is a very light Actually, I'm sorry. This is the uh, this is the brisket. I was gonna say, where's all the names? That that's the brisket folder, uh, or file, I should say. And so there's about 40 of them there. I'd say that's a little short. We have about 200 in the uh, X2. That's more like it. All right. So somebody would have liked that one, huh? All right. So here we go. This is going to be for if you did the early bird thing and you partook in that and you made a comment on Wednesday. This is you. 100 bucks. Let's just get this out of the way real quick. Like, this is gonna be. Joe Cora, J.O. Cora, you are the first recipient of $100 for making a comment in the Wednesday section and, or the comment section, and also uh, being in the uh, waiting room hobnobbing and uh, with all the fine people. Uh, Explore family, you guys are always in there, or there's, a, there's actually two of you, and so that's going to be kind of cool. All right, so we give a couple hundred dollars away there. Let's give those back in there. Those are the two. You guys, congratulations. That's the first $200. That's going to go back out to the spin because we're going to do this again. That will be uh, about 420 you've got about 20 minutes uh to get your name uh in the comment section for today and say hello i'm here steve and by doing that here you go tony it is ready for you if you want it uh you can grab that one right there that's on the floor uh by saying that that gets you in a spin too we're gonna do something there 50 bucks 75 bucks 100 bucks something like that all right so if you were uh the recipient of the uh brisket and you said brisket instead of ribs or venison you're in this spin here now that's exclusive there is only about 40 of you in this one that one's going to be pretty good too jackpot uh yeah we can try it we're going to see if the rooster's going to loosen up here hey the rooster loosened up did i not tell you get jb in here jb jb you did good buddy you actually got this rooster loosened up good boy good boy jb He's probably hearing me. He said, where's dad at? I can hear him, but I can't see him. That's okay. He loses. Look at that. Triple sevens. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to reach into the spinner, uh, the big one at the end of the day, and pull out a uh, winner. It'll be probably about, I don't know, $5,000 or something like that. But so stay tuned for that bad boy. All right. So we are a cooking show. Brisket, brisket. How about a brisket? Starts off with a brisket. This thing is about eight pounds, maybe 10 pounds, give or take. Uh, it can go up to 14 pounds. But I like a nice trim one. Now, this is the upside down version. There are two cuts loved ones to a brisket. There is the point and the flat. What you see in the store as corned beef and pastrami and all that is the flat. That's called the first cut. That's actually sitting underneath this. This is actually upside down. Uh, this is the point. Now the point uh, is underneath the flat. Now the point has more fat and more uh, fibrous tissue, if you will, but flavor, my God, the flavor that comes out of the point is to die for. Now, that's what we shoot for. That's that pearl in the oyster I was telling you about. If you've ever had brisket before and you've ever done brisket, uh, and I've only done it twice, believe it or not. I'm not a brisket guy or a barbecue kind of guy. I'm more the, uh, the rib guy. But uh, my briskets were dry. They, they, I'll confess right here, right now, uh, Lord be willing, my briskets were dry because I let them stall. And again, stalling is that process when you put them in the smoker uh, and you put them in there and it gets hot, they sweat like we would on a hot day. And again, all of the most of the juices extract and you lose a lot of juice or flavor or what have you. So the idea is to keep it all controlled. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to smoke them as we did here. We put this one in the smoker and we did that for about three hours. Very light. But man, I'll tell you, the smoke flavor and look at it. Look Look at the color. My oven at 200 degrees did not do that. That was all smoke induced. Now, uh, that's what your lungs look like too if you're a smoker, toka, baby. It's not pretty, is it? But anyway, it's about 180 degrees is what we shoot for internally when it's all said and done. But so we start with smoke. So we take this bad boy like this, and we're going to, prior to about 24 hours, we're going to dry rub this bad boy, and we're also going to spray it. Say what? Yeah, we're going to spray it. We have, we're going to use cherry wood for our wood product today. And the cherry wood basically is the sweet. We're going for the sweet and sticky and smoky. Sweet, sticky, smoky. Say that four times. Sweet, sticky, smoky. 
that's what we're shooting for today. And the reason why we're doing that is we want we like that flavor. We don't like a, like pecan would be very oaky or very smoky, and, or a, an oak, a, a hardwood. Uh, I like a sweet. So the brisket's going to be sweet. And in fact, the sauce when we finish this will also be a, a sweet and sticky sauce that we put on our bread. But when you put all this together, oh my God, it's going to be. You're going to think you you died and gone to heaven. So you spray. This is cherry juice and what? Honey, what? Yeah, cherry juice and honey. What we do is we spray the bad boy down with cherry juice and honey. Now, the reason we do that is we, we want to build a catalyst for what we call the bark. That's right, the bark. JB, you with me on this one, baby? Okay, so the bark is nothing more than the dry rub, but we want to form a bark. We want to make a bark. How do we do that? Well, we take our dry rub ingredients. What are those, Steve? Well, those are basically anything you want. Uh, if you want to do, you know, a spicy one, if you want to do, you know, an oriental one, if you want to do a, a Filipino one. Hello, Philippines. If you, you know, it depends on what you want to do. But bottom line is, I like to build a nice bark. This is just nothing more than, you know, your traditional, your garlic and your, your paprika and some oregano and some salt and some pepper. Um, and so anyways, that's what we're doing here. We're, we're making our dry rub, you see? Your dry rub. And what's, uh, what's caused that to stick real good is your combination of your honey and your, uh, your uh, cherry juice. So why do we use cherry juice? Is that really, yeah, cherry will accentuate this amazingly well. So again, we're going to spray it down. And this right now, right here before your very eyes, is going, did anybody get Sam the Butcher? Did, did anybody get that one right? The first person in the comment section, that's a hundred bucks. Sam the Butcher, remember Sam? Does that help you a little bit there? Anyways, uh, that was Sam the Butcher. Uh, you wanna go to Sam the Butcher and say, I want the left side of the pectoral or the, or the uh, brisket. Again. Oh, okay, very good. So this dry rub, would sit overnight in the fridge, okay? You wanna take it out in the morning, right? Have a little coffee and do the same process again. You'd spray it down with the cherry juice and the honey, cherry juice and honey, cherry juice and honey. Okay, so uh, just imagine this is the next morning. You'd spray that down and again, you would put again your uh, rendition of your dry rub and do that. So you're creating an amazing bark. That bark is just soaking into your left side of your brisket. Now again, your butcher or your um, your guy at Albertsons is gonna say, what, you're out, of your, you're out of your mind. There's no such thing as a left or right side. There is. And uh, yeah, you might end up with a left-sided cow and you might end up with a real tough piece of meat where you need you know, a chainsaw to cut it. Likelihood, not so much. I'm just kind of giving you the whole rundown. I want you to know, I want you to be informed about everything. So this would go into the smoker. So we'd literally lift this up, put this over to the smoker and we'd smoke this for about three, maybe four hours. Okay, about 200 degrees, um, 190, 200, flipping it over a little bit, spraying it down and uh, keeping it nice in composure. You don't want that to stall. Remember, stalling is where it starts to sweating. Steve, I'm so hot. Okay, so we would take the uh, brisket out of the smoker and let it rest, okay? Next stop is the oven. Now, a lot of people do one or the other. They will either oven roast their, their brisket slowly or smoke it entirely. We do both. We want the best of both. It's like having two husbands or two wives. You want the best of both. I'm just kidding, of course. So you would take your smoked product like this. This is what it kind of looks like, although this has been oven induced for about eight hours. How long, Steve? Yeah, about eight hours. So fire up your oven, wrap it up really good in foil after it comes out of the smoker. Wrap it up really good in foil. Jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. We hit one, we're gonna hit two. We oh. Yeah, imagine that. Your name pulled out of there. Oh, one more time. Okay, one more time. And by the way, that is a jackpot. We have two. JB, baby, you did a great job, my dog. That dog, that rooster. Hey, rooster. As a matter of fact, let's unveil that rooster. Here he is right here. Yeah, a little cockle doodle do. I see here. This little guy, you see him? We're not throwing him down the hallway today, are we there? Huh? Uh, who told me that? Somebody told me that. I can't remember. My mind, of course, went with the 70s. But anyways, our rooster came through for us today. Give it up for that big rooster. All right, so we unveiled that. We had two jackpots. The Wheel of Fortune, we did name him Rex last week. Uh, if you were here on the show, we did name him Rex. So that's Rex the rooster. He may be around a little bit more after today. Two jackpots in a row. Two out of three is pretty good. All right, so where was I? Yes, we're taking the, uh, the uh, brisket and we're putting it in the oven. 
And what we're going to do with that is we're going to wrap it up really good in foil, put it into a 200 degree temperature for about six to seven hours, okay? It's going to come out, we're going to let it rest. And this is what you have when that transpires. You have the uh, beautiful smoke looking, that's what your lungs look like, by the way, I, I already told you that. Uh, so we're going to unveil this. This is the point uh, that's coming off, okay? The point, uh, uh, as opposed to the flats, if you will, okay? Uh, we're going to take that off and um, remove that. I've done, because of time constraints on the show, I have unveiled a, what we have now is the brisket, or we call the flat, uh, as opposed to the point. Now, uh, if you wanted to see what this looked like uh, cut, I'm going to make a sandwich actually for you uh, on this. Uh, this is literally just a beautiful, tender, uh, amazing piece of meat, okay? Uh, we're just going to slice those off and pull this back. That is the uh, smoke section. Okay, so this is basically going to make and suffice as a sandwich for us in just a few moments. But loved ones, that, I, I assure you, I have done nothing but told you and showed you exactly what we have here. We have the most moist, smoke-flavored, cherry-sweet rub flavor you could ever possibly imagine in this meat. And it will be the best brisket you ever put your lips to. I promise you that. You got the best of both. You got the smoke and you got the oven. The tenderization of the oven just loosens that fibristic uh, fibers in that meat and you have something amazing. Now, the question is, what kind of bread? Well, Steve, I don't know. In the Southwest, we have something called the tortilla, baby. Hola, tortilla. Yeah, I'm not very good. I'm a white guy uh, with that kind of background. But uh, anyways, we're going to light the burners. And I'm going to show you, basically, if you were to uh, Southwesternize, is that a word? Southwesternize your uh, brisket sandwich, you would literally put it on a burner such like this. And we're going to get it nice and brown. And we would do the green chili thing. Yeah, we do green chili thing here. Uh, I have taken the liberty of pre-roasting the green chili. But you would roast the green chili, you'd get a tortilla, and you'd brown it up like this. This is as quick as it gets. And my God, it's starting to brown a little bit. You'd put a little heat to that tortilla. You put a little green chili on it. And let me show you how this ends. It, it, it ends better than a movie would ever end. Uh, uh, the cutting board suffices as our beautiful plate so you want to serve your guests on a cutting board that's appropriate for such like a barbecue so you take a little barbecue sauce this is that uh, sweet and sticky little barbecue sauce Ooh, la, la. and the, the green chili yeah we'll put a little green chili on there we have a room problem here because we have a desk we work off a desk here but nonetheless this is a uh, the green chili we'll just put a little green chili little dabble do you like the green chili in the sauce and if you were to put that uh, meat just like so Voila, and then you would wrap that up and say, wow, burrito style or whatever. That's our Southwestern version of our tortilla uh, or uh, our beautiful brisket sandwich. Now, uh, let's do this. Let's show you another version. We'll just take this off here, pardon our, our uh, thing there. And we will go, and let's say you want, uh, big right now is brioche, brioche, or uh, a farmer's bread. Uh, you could do it on anything you want, but again, we would little dabble, do you? That's that barbecue sauce. That's all you need. You don't need anything else. Anybody else who puts lettuce or mayonnaise or what? Yeah, yeah my God, you're, you're killing me. So you put your sauce, your favorite sauce. Again, this is that sweet and sticky because we're going and coinciding with our <clears throat> Get that green chili out of there. Uh, and a green, a green chili, like I said, is uh, nothing more than the Southwest version, but you would take your, your, uh, your meat and you do something similar to this, uh, and you would cap that and you'd have yourself the most amazing, I know that doesn't look good, but let me tell you something, loved ones, that is the most amazing meat sauce combination that you'll ever have. And that's how easy it is to do your brisket. Was that not easy? That is how, uh, and again, you could put that on farmer's bread, you could put that on any type of bread that you want, but when you come over to Steve Henry's house for a 4th of July barbecue and we're, you, you uh, have the word that we're doing brisket, uh, that's what we're having and that's how we're gonna do it and prepare it. And let me tell you something, when they get in their car, that's what we shoot for here. We take a normal item, right? We uh, present it, we prepare it and so on. But when they get in their car after they leave your house, Wow, was that not the best tasting brisket? And it was so tender. How did he get it so tender? He must have put some kind of tenderizer in it. No tenderizer. No, just the procedure in which I showed you. Uh, and that's it. That's how, that's the scientific, that's the pearl in the oyster. Okay, so if you were lucky enough to do the brisket and say, Steve, it's a brisket. I want or I love the brisket. Well, 
this is your lucky day because we're gonna reach in here. This is just gonna be a one-timer because, oh my goodness, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but you, uh, when you get your check, it'll say brisket on there. A what? Oh, you want me to send you the brisket instead? I can do that too. Uh, the to-go brisket, and that's looking kind of rough here. Uh, the to-go brisket can, can happen as well, but see uh, how tender that is. It's incredible. Um, we're gonna have a 4th of July firework party too before we leave here. Oh, wow, this is pretty cool. I think you were the one who told me to get rid of the rooster. You still feel that way? Maybe. Super Dud, congratulations. You chose brisket and you are the recipient of a check made out to you for saying, hey, look, brisket's what we need on July 4th. Happy July 4th, everyone, by the way. All right, so if you haven't gone to the new Show.com and subscribed and registered and did all that yada, yada, yada thing, then you're missing out. You're not going to participate or be able to participate in the show's activities. The next one coming up, we're going to do another spin, yes. If you just showed up in the spin after 4 o'clock, we still love you, and said, hey, Steve, I'm here. That's cool, because we're going to spin and uh, pull out some 50s. These are not as much as the other big ones, but you know what? Uh, in today's times, every little bit helps. Okay, so a little cherry juice, a little honey, uh, a little bark, a little smoke. Not that kind of smoke. George, you always get, you always go there with that kind of smoke, but it's not that kind of smoke. But that is the, the best brisket. And, and let me tell you, uh, when you taste that, uh, it, uh, I just can't reiterate enough. It is the moistest, juiciest brisket you'll ever have in, in your life. All right, it is time to spin some 50s. Uh, we're gonna have a fireworks show. I hope the fire department is standing by because we are going to light this place on fire. Um, Nicole after me, but this is the setting that we have. I just want to tell you, loved ones, because this is your show, one day, someday, this show will be making money. YouTube will actually be writing us a, a pretty good check. When that day comes, let me tell you, I can't wait because I'm going to sit back and I'm going to give it all back to you and I'm going to discover ways in which to do so. We're going to spin, we're going to do all kinds of things, but it's all going back to you. Get that concept because that's important. How do we get there? Well, we need people. We need more people. We got to share this thing, tell people about it, and watch the videos. Because when we do that, that just exemplifies. How close are we? Well, we're a ways away. I'm not going to lie to you. We've been doing this for a long time, uh, almost a year uh, on my on my dole, and it yeah, it's tough. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars that have gone uh, back to you this way. But just imagine when we start making that kind of money, what's going to happen? So I, I just say that every week. I just want you to know. I love you and I look forward to this. This is the car business can go down the toilet and that's kind of where it is right now. Uh, I would do this full time. And let me tell you, if I'm, a, if I'm allowed by you to do this full time, look out. You ain't seen nothing yet. Without further ado, we got 50s. All right, this is everybody. This is everybody. I mean, everybody. Everybody that's actually gone to the new Steve Henry show, registered and subscribed and did all the things they were supposed to do. Look at all these. There's hundreds in here. Uh, I pull out a handful every week, and uh, this is what we come up with. And we just name them off. And this is 50 bucks. It's not a lot. I know it's not a lot, but uh, it'll put some uh, gas in your tank and so on. Marissa Garcia. I like you. You uh, you make a comment every Wednesday, Marissa, and uh, I love you. You're you're a good part of the show you're here every week uh, and that's what it takes loved ones somebody like Marissa Garcia who does that and I'm looking at the screen here Elizabeth Gerardo you're there Pamela Ab oh Pamela Abson's here today uh, uh, Lena oh lovely Lena and uh, you got a by the way happy birthday Josiane you got a birthday coming up in a couple days and I think it's 32 years for you candy up there how do you how are you married to Emilio for 32 years I don't know how you did that but that that in itself is a uh, we're going to, that's coming. The jackpot's coming. I know I'm running out of time too. Denise, I can't pronounce your last name too well. Denise F, you are a recipient of $50. Yay, Denise, these are all new people and I love you people. Elizabeth Gerardo, I just saw you fly by there, Elizabeth. You got a $50 bill coming. Lisa Rogers, Roxanne T, Emmy Media, Amelia Waters, Leisha Peters, Jeanette Ziegler, a seed. Hey, by the way, Ethan, I'm coming to you. Ethan won the, the 2012 Jeep here about, what, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. It might be Christmas by the time I get there, brother, but I will get there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it has been so busy and so hectic here. There are so many things going on. You have no idea. And I am. I apologize for, normally we would have your Jeep uh, on your doorstep. We're going to have to go all the way to uh, 
not Memphis, uh, the other big city there in Tennessee. And again, that escapes me. Uh, Amelia Waters is a recipient of $50. Give it up for Amelia Waters. Very cool. And Minnie Clary. Hey, Minnie, that's uh, Mac's mother. Hi, Mac. Is Mac here today? Emily, Emily's here. Hello, Emily, Dell Maverick. You know, Dell, we gotta have a party. You and me, we put together, you know what? Your money and my, uh, my cooking, or is it the other way around? I forget. But we could have one heck of a party, Dell, uh, with all your contacts. You have more contacts uh, than uh, Comcast Cable, baby. Ophelia's there. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. You guys are awesome. And we, uh, we have busted over 100 people today. Again, that's awesome, you guys. I love you so much. You have no idea. I wish I could call up my boss on Exodus on Monday morning and say, bro, it's over. I've got another job I'm taking because I would take this. Wow, this is interesting. Matt Clary, a mom and daughter. Mom and daughter. Mom and son. Well, I got to stop those Michelobes before I start here. All right, we got a jackpot to give away. Uh, and then what we do, we'll spin for that bad boy too, all right? So everybody that's in the master spinner here, yeah, that did hurt a little bit, but that's okay. For you guys, I would I would fall, fall in front of a, a train. All right, let me just pull out. This is the jackpot now, the uh, or the uh, slot machine. Now, the slot machine uh, has been uh, 500, it's been 250, it's been 100. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. I have to assess the situation, but this is an exclusive for the jackpot. We have two of them, actually. Let's go back in here and get one more. We have two of them. Let's just grab two because uh, the rooster was really loose. Uh, and you guys can thank JB for that. We're way over time, too. JB, um, you are uh, awesome. You made that rooster uh, do its thing. Chef, Chef 65. Man, you're, you win quite a bit, too. You're one of the jackpot recipients. And... Ooh, this is an interesting one. This is somebody fairly new, brought to us by Mr. Teeter Tom, Teeter Time from Teeter Time Productions. This is a Mario Montoya. Mario, and I won't do your middle name because I will mess it up. You are a recipient of the jackpot winner. Thank the rooster for that. Loved ones, this has been a great show. It is the 4th of July. Let's not forget what this really means uh, to all of the people that served in this military of ours, this wonderful country. We have the freedom to do what we want to do, although it's diminishing, it seems like, at some points and sometimes, but we have the freedom in this country to do amazing things. I mean, it is the best country on planet Earth and probably always will be a hope in our lifetime. And the reason for that is our military is strong. Thank God for all the veterans that have kept us safe and keep us safe. Uh, this July 4th, uh, I think of you because I think of the freedom that we have in our independence. It's a wonderful thing. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone who's uh, partaken in that process. It's an amazing thing. I love you all. Next week, we're going to come back with another smashing show. It's going to be awesome. More giveaways, more ideas, more spins, more this, more that. It's going to be awesome. You keep putting those kind of numbers on the board, and I'm going to come back stronger than ever. I love you. JB loves you. Yes, we're going to do the 4th of July. I promised you I was going to light this place on fire. And uh, you know what, George? I told you this, and I'm, I'm, I'm cheating, George. I'm cheating, baby. I'm cheating. I'll help you out here. We are literally going to light this place on fire. And because we love you, and I might burn the meat down. There might not be a house here next month, but I'll tell you about it next week, but that's okay, because we are going to literally burn this down for you guys. Yes, we are. All right, I don't know, we got more? Yeah, we got more. Burn them down, burn them down, baby. Just burn the damn thing. Just burn this house down, baby, because this is a house for you. And if this burns down and we don't come back next week, you'll know what happened. Uh, we lit the place on fire, but that's all. Happy 4th of July, everybody. This is our rendition of the 4th of July. Look at that, huh? Is that not cool or what? That's how it goes in the state of New Mexico, the best we can do. Thank you for watching. Brisket was awesome. I hope you, you put a brisket on the grill in two days and it's the best brisket they ever had because I guarantee you, it'll be the bomb. Love you all. I'll see you next week for another fascinating show. Bye-bye.